Hello, and thank you for taking the time to watch this short video. I'd like to introduce myself and the services I offer, and at the same time give you a brief introduction into how a typical service might take place. My name is Peter Kirkpatrick, and I'm a civil funeral celebrant, based in Galston, but conducting services throughout Norfolk and Suffolk. The funeral services I conduct are non-religious, focusing on a celebration of life. Whilst I can always be contacted directly, normally your funeral director will arrange for me to contact yourselves and arrange a visit with you and your family if required to discuss your service arrangements. During this visit, I will try and gain an insight into the life of your loved one. The aim of this is to discuss with you some historical facts, where they were born for example, family and friends, and some work and hobby information. With this, I can write a fitting eulogy which, with your choice of music and possibly a poem or two, will form the funeral service. Once written, you'll be able to confirm that all the details are correct and that you are happy with the style and content. I will be available at all times to assist with any selections, offering poem options if required. If you haven't yet requested your music choices with your funeral director, I can often liaise with them on your behalf. As we usually have time to make small adjustments, these can be made up until two days before the day of the service. So you may wonder about the day of the funeral and what happens and when. Waverley Memorial Park and Crematorium have kindly allowed me to film inside the chapel to give you an insight into the proceedings. At this crematorium, all services start on the hour with 40 minutes available for each service and about 30 minutes inside the chapel for the service time. All mourners are requested to arrive no more than 10 minutes before the start of the funeral. Waveney Crematorium is fully equipped with a Wesley audio system, which can supply your music choices or record the service on CD, DVD, or even provide a webcast facility. Please note that not all crematoriums provide this service, so please check with your funeral director if you wish to use these options. We are here in the waiting area where all of the mourners gather prior to taking their seats in the chapel. This will normally take place a few minutes before the service begins. The front two rows will normally be reserved for the immediate family. The hearse will arrive here under the front cover. And if anybody is asked to be a pallbearer, the funeral director will give you some brief advice on what to do with some safe handling techniques. I will take my place at the lectern and the coffin will be placed on the catafalc. The family will take their places in the front two rows and the music will continue until it is an appropriate time to fade and for the service to start. I will start the service with the opening words and we will then continue with music, poems and the eulogy in whichever order you require. We will then at the end of the service come to the committal. It is your choice as to whether to leave the curtains open or closed. When the committal is completed, I will say a final few words and I will leave the chapel and wait by the exit with the funeral director. This will give you all the chance to say your own private final farewells. I hope that this has given you a brief insight into how our funeral service will work. My thanks go again to the staff and management here at Waveney Crematorium. Without their assistance, this film would not be possible. But please remember, not all crematoriums offer the same facilities, so please check. My thanks also go to Film Media. Without their technical expertise, we would not be able to have made this film. Many thanks. <laughs>